Alfred Gunn House, a tired, dated 60-year-old tower block in Langley, now undergoing a major facelift. There is mold here, dampness as well. But there are major yeah, problems. Aisha's ground floor flat is damp, and since the work began, it's got much worse. It has got mold everywhere. And if I'm even cooking, I feel like I'm cooking mold. And when we sleep, I literally, literally smell damp, and I literally feel like taste of mold. There's black mold on walls, ceilings and windows, waters dripping from the ceilings. This part dropped down while my son was having shower. A leak in the flat above sent toilet water gushing through the ceiling. Is, is, is this the, the authority street people? This is not right. We are also human beings. They should step into our shoes and see that how we are living. Lorraine has lived here eight years. She says asbestos was removed from this corridor outside her front door without warning while she slept with her husband and son inside. Water's dripping from her ceilings too and huge patches of black mould are spreading across the walls. With the damp it's making me stressed out and because my asthma has been playing up pretty bad and I feel annoyed and upset because the council just left us here without telling us what's going on. There's one lift for the whole block and that's shared by the builders as well as the residents. It's dirty, as are the corridors, construction dirt on the doors, on the floors, the floors are wet and this cabinet here full of cables, presumably some of them live, is swimming in water. The water's literally collecting yeah. on the floor. Yeah. Paul Barnes helps communities campaign for better housing. We asked him what he thought. Shocking. Um, absolutely unacceptable that the tenants have been left in this state. I've noticed multiple Category 1 hazards. Um, the fact that this has not been actioned on is shameful. Sandwell Council told us they apologise for what they call the inconvenience and they're now carrying out repair work in two flats. But the tenants say these homes are unfit and they've asked their MP to intervene. Giles Latch and BBC Midlands today, Oldbury.